Hi! So our lesson for today is about unit rates. Okay? So when we say unit rates, we are talking of a ratio wherein one of the numbers is 1. So how are we going to find the unit rates for this topic given a graph, table, equation, and a situation? So we're going to have them one by one. So let's start with the graph. Suppose we have this graph, wherein it shows the relationship between the amount earned in dollars and the time in hours. So how are we going to find the unit rate given a graph? So the unit rate for any given graph is the ordered pair 1y, which means check your x, find 1, so this is 1, Check the point on the graph. So this is the point. And then check the partner on your Y. So this point is 116. So therefore, our unit rate here is $16 per hour. Okay, so it should be Y over X. The value of y is 16, it's up there. And then the value of x is 1, which is down here. Again, when you find the unit rate for any given graph, ignore the other points. Just search for 1 on your x. 1, and then check the corresponding y value or the partner of 1. So in this case, we have 1 for x, the partner is 16, so the unit rate is y over x. So it's $16 over x, which is one hour, okay? Next, let's move on with tables. How are we going to find the unit rate given a table? So for example, we have this table wherein it shows the relationship between the distance in meters and time in minutes. There are two unit rates that can be taken from this table. The first one is the distance over time. So, in finding the unit rate for this one, all you have to do is to divide the distance by the time. So you can use the first pair, the second, the third or the fourth, you will still have the same answer. So for this given, the distance is 600 meters over 5. So dividing this one, 600 divided by 5, that will give us 120 meters, that is what we have on top, over one minute okay again the first unit rate is 120 meters over one minute which means the distance traveled in one minute is 120 meters now for the second unit rate it's going to be the opposite wherein we will have time over distance so time over distance we're in this time we are checking how many minutes in one meter so plugging in the values time is five over 600 dividing this two numbers five divided by 600 that will give us 0 0.008 so this is the one on top right now is the time, which is in minute. Then the one that we have at the bottom is the distance, which is in meter. So therefore, for unit rate number two, the distance, no, the time is 0 0.008 minute in one meter. Okay? 
So that is for the table. You will just divide them. Next. This time, what if we have an equation? How are we going to find the unit rate if the given is an equation? Example. Example the given is D equals 45T, which means the distance is equal to 45T or time. So D here represents distance and T is the time in hour. Now, what is the unit rate for this one? So K in the equation Y equals KX represents the unit rate. Again, your K in the equation Y equals KX is our unit rate. So based from the given, our K is 45. Therefore, the unit rate is 45. So what is D again? That is distance in miles. And then T is the time in hours. So 45 miles per hour. Or you can write this as 45 miles over one hour. So again, to find the unit rate given an equation, just check for the value of K. So the value of K is your unit rate. In this given example, it's 45. So therefore, the unit rate is 45 miles. Where did we get miles? We are talking of the distance per hour. Where did we get this per hour? What we have here is time. Okay, so let's move on with the last one, which is about situation or word problems. So this is the given. Yami can do 30 jumping jacks in three minutes. So what are the unit rates? So for the given situation, the unit rate is the rate of change given in the problem. The keywords are, when you see the word per, each, every, or even the number one. Example, so based from the given, Yami can do 30 jumping jacks in three minutes. The first step is write the given as a ratio. So we have here 30 jumping jacks. So we will just have it as JJ's for three minutes. Now, simplifying this given ratio, let us divide. 30 divided by 3 is 10. So, therefore, Yami can do 10 jumping jacks in one minute. So, this is our first unit rate. It's how many jumping jacks in one minute? This time, the second unit rate is the opposite. We're in how many minutes is for one jumping jack? So that means we will just switch this. So three minutes on top. And then 30 jumping jacks at the bottom. So simplifying this one by dividing three divided by 30 will give us 0 0.1 minute over one jumping jack. So therefore, our second unit rate is, it will take 0 0.1 minute to do one jumping jack. So that's it.